Hello everyone, in the last video we talked about how to make a coin system when you hit a coin it, and it takes it tells the total coins you have so in this video we'll talk about how to add textures to the game like sprites, like there's cube or square colored, it's not interesting so let's get straight into it okay so I gonna ahead and downloaded uh, an asset pack. It's uh, a Metroidvanian asset pack. It's platformer. So if you want to download it, I'll put the link to the download in down below. Okay. So in this pack, there's like a player character, HUD element, sprites for the coins and potions, signs, anything and the uh, tiles where we need them like the uh, the ground tiles these tiles we need them so we'll be using them okay so uh, we need to minimize this to import a file and you can first of all I'm making a create a folder call it import I'll open it drag the file into unity so it will begin importing the files sometimes it take a while if the depending on the files uh, size and how many items in the file so it may take a while so be patient okay uh, it's done importing you it's here is the file Click it. So we want so the player have a sprite. Click on the hero sprite. I want to use the new one. We need to find the move one. Okay. So you're gonna head and search for it. It's the run animation. Okay, there's a few things you need to change. First of all, you need to click on the sprite mode, change it from single to multiple. Then it's a pixel art, so if you are dealing with pixel art, just to choose the filter mode, make it point no filter. So when you resize it, it will not lose the quality of the image. Okay, uh, when you click the die. Go click uh, Sprite Editor. If you want to uh, slice automatically or slice by hand, you slice by hand by just let me just delete this. Click and drag. So this is 16 by 16. How do you do this? Get good by size. 16 by 16. Slice. As you can see. Everyone is a piece. Okay, hit apply. Take. Okay, so you have the run animation as you can see, it's sliced. And click on the player, drag one of them. As you can see, it's pretty small. Go click on here, change the pixel per unit to 16. Click apply. As you can see, it's then the default size of the image. So if you have a uh, uh, 100 uh, pixels, just type here 100 as uh, just leave it as it is. 64, leave 64, 32, 32, etc. Okay. Now we have the player, but there's a problem. As you can see, he runs have one, but we dragged one sprite. This is one sprite. We want it a sprite that moves. So, uh, let me close this real quick. Just go ahead and click Window 2D. I mean, sorry, animation. And brick animation, not animator, the animation. Okay. You have, you will have this window. Just drag it. I will put it over here. Okay. So, in default, the player does not have any animator. As you can see, no animator. Click 
create I will go ahead in my assets create a new folder I will call it animations and the new folder player to keep my stuff organized so rename this to running save the animation as you can see you can click on this now okay get this and drag it over here okay as you can see it's a bit close to each other put it like 30 and see how it looks as you can see now it's uh, the gizmos as you can see it's cool it's better now now the animation keeps playing uh, that's what you want it's looping some animations you don't want to be it looping so you click here click on the player I, I go the, to the player folder animation click on running this is for the player which be uh, here it will be here it's a controller click on the running if you don't want it looping just click of looping I want to do it now okay so we got the character looping now we need an idle animation in the sprite we have it has a um, uh, movement so you need to go ahead and find the idle animation which should be around here this one okay click on it click again no sorry wait. you need to choose multiple because it's multiple and 16 because the size of the each sprite is 16 change the filter mode to point no filter then click apply okay sprite editor slice 16 by 16 and good slice okay click apply and then go here as you can see here it is okay go click click on the player again click animation as you can see there's no no buttons that you click to add any uh, animations how do you get a new animation luckily just click running create a new clip and you want to turn player we I'll call it add it okay just drag him I was 30 Okay, it looks cool. As you can see, it's an idle animation. Okay, but now if we let me just add for it, just add here because it need to be idle at the start. Stop this. Go here. It needs to have an idle animation at the start because in the spawn, player spawn, it will be idle. Not running, but if you run the animation or the, I mean the scene, as you can see, it's doing the run animation and does not flip. How do you fix? First of all, you need to fix um, him always running. Just go ahead and click window, animation, and click animator. Okay, you can click the middle uh, mouse button to move around and zoom out okay and move this up here okay you want the idle animation to be the default it's not default the running is so click here set as layer default state then as you can see it's, it will be always uh, the idle animation will be always the default. So, if you play the scene, as you can see, he's idling. As you can see, he's idling. And, as you can see here, it's playing the animation. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. It's playing the animation. Now, we want a way to transition from the idle to running. So, stop the scene. And, right click makes transition as you can see you have an arrow click on running you can make space 
Now when you create a state state, you want to idle to running and you want running to idle so make another transition like this. Okay, make a boolean. Now this is a layer. Okay, the uh, tick parameters then click boolean name it um, is idle okay if he's idle which is default uh, true by default uh, click on here it has no uh, exit time and it's the duration of the transition is zero so it will be instant you don't want it to have uh, transition duration because sometimes it just breaks things sometimes but I always use this and you should use it because if you don't it will have negative things so just do this okay it will transition from running to idle if it's the is idle is true and idle will transition to running if it's not running it's not idle okay false and zero service okay so uh, okay now we want something more as you can see the coins are just yellow squares which is not interesting just click on prefab to change all of them you need to go to uh, the prefab of it click open prefab okay now you need to click on animation but first you need to go to miss class uh, items go search for the uh, coin animation go to 16 multiple and point no fit click apply click sprite editor slice size 16 it's 8 by 8 sorry uh, you need to know uh, the size of each sprite this uh, as like I never used so I don't know the sizes okay as you can see as you can see it's every one of them it's 8 by 8 okay click apply and close okay you will have this first of all click on the coin and the first one then hit create and you need to go to assets animation then create items and I will name this coin and we just do this uh, okay okay like this as you can see it looks already beautiful so save this stop the animation go back as you can see every one of them is having this okay and the size is 8 I will increase it a bit because the coin is too large so just test it as you can see when you run the scene you have a beautiful coin running around and you might to have to change the collider size here um, click I will click again to the prefabs coin and open prefab okay the box collider is big so just click reset it will put it like this and just leave this it is that does not matter because uh, some colliders does not matter and remember to put it back to its regard so you don't get any errors okay as you can see it looks already good go to the tiles click on the tile okay click multiple now and point no filter and apply 
you need to see the size of each tile okay yeah sorry um i think it's 16 by 16 i think this pack does not say what size so you just um go to the size and change okay, 16 by 16 and as you can see it's it's 16 by 16 and unity uh, knows if it's does not have anything inside the cell it will not slice it and get it with it so it's better click apply x and 16 okay we need to change this ground just remove them okay we need to replace them with the tiles so right click we will use that as a tile map so create the tile map here as you can see there's a tile map here okay uh, and you need to bring up the tile palette window so you go to 2d go to 2d tile palette okay you need to create a tile palette let me just click it over here okay create a new palette i will call it ground and create okay don't put it in the wrong place go to assets and you need to create default call it tile palette and you need to give it a name ground okay as you can see there is no tiles so bring up your tile set and drag it over here as you can see it will show us big one don't worry it will import at the same uh, same uh, image as it is but sliced so it would be easier for you create a new folder name it uh, tiles again I'll name it ground and then save there is a, a, a tiles you need to wait until it's important so when it finishes you will have a ties over here where you can click here and add your tile as you can see it already looks beautiful so what i will do there's things you can use this to make squares and shapes rectangles i will make it like this then I will make it like this. Sorry, I this is you need to fix this like this, and uh, you need this to make it like an illusion that there is nothing behind them. It's okay if you miss some, and you put the color of the camera, main camera, like this. So uh, when if you don't feel any it's okay but I will do that later okay you can make two like you can drag drag this and you will get it a whole sprite together I'll put one over here and like this you can draw easily make interesting shapes and you can also copy this like this add this one if you want I won't add it or you can make things like this I haven't done much with these tiles because I don't use them but that's okay there are also some backgrounds you can use these ones but not for now we will add it okay okay so uh, fill this now this does not have a collider so if, start, if i start it uh, the player will fall fall through it 
So how do you fix this? It's pretty simple. I will ne rename this to ground. How to fix this? Just go to the tile map, click add component, name it tiles. Uh, tile map collider 2D. Okay. You can set it as trigger uh, anything. As you can as you saw last time. Okay, so if you turn on the gizmos, as you can see here, colliders are. Okay. If we run this here, uh, wait a second for the scene to start. As you can see, there's animation, and there's something. Look, the player gets stuck here. How do you fix this? Uh, just stop the scene, add this, compose it, collider 2D. It will add a rigid body, but just don't worry, just make it kinematic. Or let's set the left key to zero. Oh, I prefer just to make it kinematic. And uh, in the time of collider used by composite. Okay, this will make lines here. And the inside there will be no colliders, as you can see here, at the edges only. Only edges have uh, colliders. It's like the line collider, but it's automatic. So, if we start again, see? You won't see the player lagging anymore. So, okay. And there's one thing too, because as you can see, it will not jump. So you need to click on the ground and just give it the ground layer. Okay. Run it again. Okay. As you can see, the player jumps. You need to increase the player jump uh, because it's so uh, a small number. I will just add this because we are just doing this thing. Add that second. You can just experiment depending on the style of the game. Okay, as you can see. Now, the player does not move from the idle from here. If you can take a look, it does not transition from the idle to running when you click. Okay, how do you do this? Is just going um, to open, click on the player. Click here, it will show you this. I prefer opening from here because sometimes you click but it's not open. So just find the sprite and click open. Okay, when uh, your ID is open, we will add a reference and uh, we add a reference to, uh, to the animator so you can change the parameters it had. Okay. And your ID is open. Okay, just go here and add a header again. Header, I will call it animations. Okay, need to add a public animator. Call it anim. Okay. So. You need to uh, here what you will need to add. Just click here, add an if statement. Okay, if you know that the x is horizontal, so it's minus one or one or zero. So if the player is not moving, it will be zero. If he is Moving to the right, it will be one. If you move to the left, it will be minus one. Okay, I move this down. Okay, you do x to sorry x equals equals two. If it's minus one or x equals equals to one, 
you go to anim the set boolean it is the type the name of the boolean or you can just type the id i will type the name of it which is the string so what you have to type is uh, is idle comma false is not idle else if comma this is else but i for the sake of this video i'll put it and else if x equal equals to zero if he's not moving at all i go ahead and copy this paste it and from false set it to true okay like that simple as it is go back into unity wait for the script to load okay the script's done loading click on the player go down as you can see you need to put in the animator component drag your animator in okay so now just start the scene as you can see he's moving he's playing the run animation okay as you can see it's running idle running idle running idle okay but there's a problem the player when he moves to the right it's okay when he moves to the left as you can see it's doing a moonwalk okay so how do you fix that simply in script we need to do just uh, we explain here put it to minus one the scale the x as you can see it works so to do this to be seen go back to your ide and here what you have to do i will split it uh, split this but else if and else if here okay here like this okay sorry okay you will have this if it's minus one if you're moving to the left you will have to to transform dot local scale equals to you will be using a, a vector 3 so vector new vector 3 uh, um, like this you need to fill an x and the y and z or you can fill an x or a y okay you just need to if it's minus one just minus one comma one and do this and copy it, paste, and remove this. We won't put anything here because we will. He will stay in the last time he was facing. Like if he was facing to the left, he will keep facing to the left. If he was facing to the right, he will keep facing to the right when he is idle. So go back to Unity. Wait for your script to load. Okay, this is your script loaded. You don't need to change anything. Just start your scene, and it should work. It's magic. Like this, this. As you can see. It works just fine. We need a running animation. I, I mean a jump animation. As you can see, I can walk through this. Uh, the yeah, the player size here will be a tile long. His his height is one tile, which I think it's perfect for this uh, asset. So this is good already. Okay. Stop your scene. Go back to the animations to the player. So you need to find the jump animation. This is an idle 
This is double jump. This is uh, jump down, jump up, forward pushing, and so much more. Uh, sometimes mm, I don't think we need a jump animation for this asset. It looks cool and fine. We don't need to add too much. Okay. So uh, in this video, we done much. We done a lot of things. First of all, we made a tile. Set, the tile set we had. Uh, we can. We have a run animation, um, the run animation and the uh, running animation. If you can see, there's an error. Like you, you forget something, you need to keep debugging your code. So as you can see, I can when I move right, it does not play the animation. That's because. When you go back, you don't set the animator point to false, so you need to keep track of it. Okay, and in this video, we done much uh, seriously. Uh, this video is too long, sorry if it got boring, but it is what it is. Okay, I uh, have uh, increased the jump force that to seven and start your scene okay you get the coins a particular pop-up we have tiles the player moves left and right with animation jumps idols anything so in, in the next episode we will add an attack animation and an enemy for the game that you can fight and maybe when you kill the enemy he will drop some coins or drop some items you will get you get achievements but these things for later okay if you have enjoyed this uh, tutorial uh, please support me you can support me with a like and subscribe by the way uh, turn the bell notifications uh, so when I put a new video you get updated I almost do a daily uh, upload and if you have any questions ask me in my discord server or in the comments down below hope you enjoyed see you next time